What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel if you didn't know. So today's video is going to be all about when to stop getting lash extensions or just basically when it's time for you to take a break. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so I have had lashes on consecutively for six months now and to be honest nothing has been wrong with that. Um, I personally haven't found any issues with having them on for that long. I have clients that have had their lashes on for about a year. To be honest, it's a very personal choice, but I do want to say that it is good to give your lashes a break once in a while. Um, this is kind of for my lash artists as well as clients out there, people who want to get their lashes done. This is just a good tip to kind of know and a, goal, a good rule of thumb to follow. Like I said, I've had lashes on for about six months I don't have them on right now I just took them off to be honest I messed up and it's one of the things you say not to do I ended up doing because I knew I wasn't gonna get lash extensions uh, my lashes filled um, I actually picked them all off and it was, it was a lot of lashes on there still so I picked them all off therefore I damaged my lashes a hundred percent I damaged my lashes not all of them um, I just kind of like the ones I picked off obviously the extension or the natural lash came off with it and that is obviously damaged and there goes some lashes so I do have a couple little gaps in there but I have a way to fix that so I do want to talk about something that I personally think works amazing I've seen it work I've seen the difference um, it's something that's pretty common talk, uh, commonly talked about but um, I personally seen a change in my own lashes as well as my clients like I said my lashes uh, are damaged right now and I am actually gonna go put lashes on again on on the 9th so that's like two weeks of not having lashes so this this was a great thing for me to do within this two weeks two weeks span let's kind of start at the top okay so you can have lashes on for however long you want but it all depends on your natural lashes and uh, the and your lash artist so your lash artist is the one that's supposed to tell you the uh, state that your natural lashes are in if they look good if they look like they need a break if they look like they need um, some TLC uh, it's your lash artist they're supposed to let you know you can't tell by just looking at your lashes to be honest you may see a little bit depending on what your natural lashes look like in the beginning or how damaged your lashes have become due to the person doing your lash extensions but like I said it's ultimately up to your lash artist to tell you hey I think you should take a break or hey I think we should reduce or how about we just give it like two weeks or sometimes a month it just depends I have had clients where um, I can do their lashes consecutively and there's absolutely no issue they have the most healthiest lashes out there their lashes are super super thick super long um just very very strong and able to handle the weight and the pressure of lash extensions um but then i also have clients out there who have ha who generally just have fragile lashes they're a little bit more brittle of course you put on lashes that that don't damage those those natural lashes but at the same time it is weight on natural lashes and especially when they're fragile I do tell those clients like hey let's just give it a little bit of time let's just take like a tiny little break um, a lot of my clients are like diehard lash lovers so it's a little bit harder for them to accept taking a break but as a lash artist it is my job to keep your lashes natural your natural lashes healthy and ongoing so I do recommend certain clients do take breaks every once in a while uh, this isn't something that you can just like throw out you obviously have to look at your clients lashes and to be honest when you start taking off some of the old ones or when they come back for a fill you can see the difference in their lashes this is specific to people who have uh, done numerous fills on somebody sometimes if obviously if you have a client that comes in for the first time and their lateral lashes are damaged you'd be like no but uh, be having a client fresh and knowing what their lat natural lashes look like in the beginning and then seeing how they've progressed that is your job to evaluate and make sure you take chain you make a change whether it's um, giving them a break or uh, just telling them like hey let's like I use a shorter length or a lighter weight or let's switch from volumes to classics or anything that you think will make a change depending on what the issue is with their natural lashes that being said uh, there are ways to correct your lash issues and help 
grow your lashes and get beautiful lashes so this is my tip I personally love this this has been a great 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 asset to uh, my clients as well as myself so like I said I damaged my lashes and I wasn't even worried about it because I was like I'm gonna do this so it's fine um, so I got uh, this castor oil that was recommended to me a long time ago I didn't really think much of it I don't really use much products but uh, I did try the castor oil and I bought this specific one on it on Amazon it is called the brand is ECLA it's this right here and I believe it's, it's just organic castor oil so it says eyelash eyebrow and hair serum so this one's specifically for hair I believe I paid like $12 for this on Amazon it wasn't much at all and it's a pretty big bottle so this is what it looks like it's a pretty decent size to be honest um, and it, the oil itself is very very thick so you don't need a lot of it um, and then it comes with a couple little applicators it comes with like a mascara wand and then it comes with this little little applicator here so I use this not this I use this little one here to apply my uh, castor oil to my lash line before I go to bed and to be honest I apply a pretty generous amount because I don't do it very often and then I sleep on it for uh, like I do it like every night for like as long as I remember or as long as I can so right now because I'm off lash extensions for a little while I do it every night until I go to get my uh, new set applied so the castor oil really helps grow, stimulate your growth and stimulate your hair follicles. And those lashes that fell, or the ones I pulled off, um, they actually come back. Because sometimes the problem is when you pull off lash extensions, it's a very big shock to the hair follicle. And, and every time you pull off a lash, that doesn't necessarily mean it'll grow back because it's such a shock to the hair follicle. There is a chance that that lash will not grow back. So because I did pull all those lashes off I immediately applied this oil right after um, because I was just I was a little scared so I was just like let me just like do this and I knew I was gonna do that so that's why I pulled them off but don't pull your lashes that is not the way to go and if you do pull your lashes make sure you get yourself some castor oil so that is what I do personally when I have uh, lash issues like natural lash issues I never had this problem obviously before lash extensions because I never really paid much attention to my natural lashes but obviously I know that I pick my lashes off to be honest not lash extensions do not damage your natural lashes it is literally all up to your artist your artist is the one who determines how healthy your natural lashes are in a month I know my clients very well I know what my lash my clients can clients lashes can handle so I haven't to, I'm gonna be super honest and tell you that I have actually never had anybody um, come back to me and tell me that I've damaged their lashes or they were having issues um, maybe in the beginning when I didn't know what the hell I was doing sure probably I probably did damage some lashes doing this now full-time I probably have I, I have never actually had anyone to come back and complain to me um, or anyone that I've seen come back and have their uh, retention compromised or have their natural lashes compromised based on how I did my lash extensions I've had people tell me different issues that they've had um, whether it's lashes pulling or burning or like all kinds all kinds of stuff happens but nothing to do with the actual extension so yeah this was just like a quick video on how I take care of my lashes and what to do when you are on a lash break so even if you don't have any lash issues if you choose to take a lash break just get yourself some castor oil and put it on your natural lashes because honestly it will do wonders for your lashes and it will even if you don't have issues with your lashes it does not hurt to give your lashes some extra nourishment just like your hair it doesn't hurt to give it some extra love um, it's and it's like any hair any hair follicle on your body especially if you're doing something to it you definitely want to make sure that it's healthy and that it's happy and you are not causing it any extra damage and that was a mouthful okay so that is it for this video I hope you guys like this one I will link my castor oil that I use down below and like I said I think it's about $12 Canadian but um it'll be in the description okay don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll be back with something new next time bye